So yes, let's get this out of the way right now. This entire film was shot on an iPhone, and in my opinion, it added absolutely nothing to this film, or nor did it take anything away from it. Now that that's out of the way, let's talk about Unsane. Your life slips away from you, you know? Changing your phone number and your email becomes normal. Taking out a restraining order, normal. Relocating to another city, normal. But you still see your stalker everywhere? Rationally, I know this is my imagination, but I'm alone in a strange city and I never feel safe. So, Unsane premise of this movie, it's about a woman who is dealing with the fact that she had to deal with a stalker a few, month, a few months ago, it's her just trying to get her life back on track, then she's accidentally admitted to a mental institution where she thinks one of the orderlies there is actually her stalker. Uh, that's the price of the movie, let's get into the good and bad of this movie. So the good, let me just say this right now, the actress who plays the lead, uh, Claire Foy, this woman is amazing, this is one of my new favorite horror leads I've seen in a while, I mean, just mainly because of the performance from Claire Foy, because she's just so good in this movie, she just looks so miserable and annoyed as you would probably be in this situation, the fact that she's kind of wrongfully thrown in, uh, like, admitting to a mental institution, and when she's just, she's just like, oh my god, why am I in this, why won't they just let me leave, and, um... There's that, and just, as the film goes on, you just learn how clever and pragmatic of a character this is. You just have her, I was just rooting for her the entire time, and... And I do give this one credit, she does do morally questionable things in this film, like she's not like just a straight up likable lead, I do, give, I do give this one credit for that, And but even then I still really wanted to see this woman survive because just Claire Foy was just so great in this. It's not just Cla uh, Claire Foy who does turns in a great performance, uh, Joshua Leonard as her stalker and possibly the, uh, uh, the orderly at the mental institution, he's incredibly creepy and unsettling throughout this film, I mean... It, what could have very come off? What could have very easily come off as a very standard like of uh, uh, movie psychopath like. Like, when he's given scenes to add, like, he does come off, like, legitimately mentally unstir- uh, mentally disturbed and unsettling, and I was just- I was legitimately flipped out by him in a few scenes. Uh, and, uh, finally, strangely enough, Jay Farrah from SNL is in this movie, and... At first, when, I, when the opening credits were starting, I saw the and I was like, really? Jay Farrow's in this film? And, uh, that's kind of weird, but, uh, I, I give him credit, he's so incredibly charismatic. Like, I loved watching him in every single scene he was in. Like, I just... You felt calmer any time he was on uh, on screen, and like any horror movie, you always have to ask the question: Is this film actually tense or scary? And or scary? And uh, yeah, I mean, I thought this was an incredibly intense film. Like, it's a very stupid premise. Like, it's completely a B movie premise. But I I I compare it to um Don't Breathe, in which that has a really stupid set, but they do elevate it just because it's so well made. Kind of the same for this movie. It's a very stupid setup, but. They do pretty much, like, bring it to, like, as good as it can possibly go, like, it's... It's just such a creeping, intense film, like, just how helpless this woman is in this situation, and just... Some of the scenes, just how she tra tries to get out of the situation, are just, like, had me on the edge of my seat, and, uh... Yeah, it was tense as hell, and it all leads to an incredible last third that just really just had me just biting my fingernails, just saying, oh god, how does this end, and, uh, so... Yeah, it's a really intense film. But, uh, as far as names for this film go, there's really two big issues. Uh, one, it's a slow start, like... Uh, during the first half, there's just a lot of scenes of just Claire Foy flipping out in the mental institute. I was like, yeah, we've seen this a few times, can we move on to something else? And the other big problem with this movie is the reveal, like... This is not a movie that's ambiguous on whether she's crazy or not when she says, I, my stalker is an orderly here. No, th th there is a clear answer on whether that's right or, uh, right or not, and I was disappointed with that. It happens pretty fairly early on in the film, and I, which I did find annoying just with the fact this could have been such a brilliant horror movie if we were just like left guessing up until the climax, is this all in her head or not? So to summarize my thoughts on Unsane one last time, the good Claire Foy, my god, was she incredible, uh, Joshua Leonard, uh, Jay Farrow, this is just an incredibly intense film, but as far as names go, it's a slow start, and 
the reveal happened too early on, and that's why I'm gonna give Unsane a very solid 8 out of 10. I'm surprised how much I like this. Uh, I just thought it was gonna be a completely entertaining B movie, but no, I I thought this was shockingly great. So uh, yeah, if you want to see a good horror movie, definitely go check this out. Uh, YouTube as always, please subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Okay, bye.